Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome if you are new. Today we're back in Orlando and we are gonna be spending a magical weekend over at Universal in the Wizarding World. We are going back to Hogwarts. I am in my back to Hogwarts gear. And then we are actually gonna be going to Halloween Horror Nights later on this evening. So I wanna take you guys along with me. So before we get started, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and become a part of my magical friends. Let's go ahead and get into the video. So I will be taking you guys along with me for this magical weekend, or at least for today, I'm gonna to try to vlog the morning and the evening because we're gonna to go to Universal to board the Hogwarts Express at 11 o'clock because today is September 1st and we're going back to Hogwarts. And then later this evening, we will be going to Halloween Horror Nights and this will be my first time ever, but they will be having the Death Eaters over in Diagon Alley for the first time ever. So I'm excited to see all of that and I'll take you guys along with me. So let's head to King's Cross Station. And before we head to King's Cross Station, I do wanna give fun.com a shout out for setting us all up with all this back to Hogwarts gear. So we've got the chocolate frog bag from Loungefly. We have these beautiful scarves and umbrella that changes colors. We have Luna Spectre specs. And then this Birdie Bots Every Flavor Beans Loungefly crossbody. And here you can see the umbrella a little better. See it changes colors once it gets wet which is really awesome. Here's the Spectra Specs out of the packaging. And then I have the Gryffindor scarf, but they got like each scarf for everybody that's here, their Hogwarts house. So we've got Ravenclaw for Astrid, we've got Slytherin for Sarah and so on. But it's such a nice gesture. So we really appreciate you fun.com. And if you want to save 20% off, I do have a discount code with them where they sell all these products over on their website. And I will link that down in my description box below. All right, we are on the platform at 9 and 3 quarters to get on the train at 11 o'clock. Here is our group. head back to the Airbnb and now I am ready for Halloween Horror Nights. We just kind of like freshened up. We're only here for like an hour, hour and a half. I also have some friendship bracelets that I want to like trade while I'm in lines and stuff. So I also got some here and yeah, I think it will be a lot of fun. I'm just wearing this Seeker and Slade Hogwarts shirt. It also has the like death day party on the back and then I just have a black skirt, some jeweled fishnet stockings and then some little ghosty <laughs> socks with my Adidas. So that's everything I'm wearing to Halloween Horror Nights. I'm gonna try to take you guys along with me, film some bits, but we'll see what it all comes together as, but we're gonna be heading there now.
are getting in line for the Last of Us house and I'm super nervous because I don't love scary things but I love The Last of Us so I am going to go through it. But we're with a group so it should be fun. Have them in your hand ready. High felt, make sure to keep moving forward. If you have Express, make sure you have them ready. Keep yes. moving forward everyone, keep with moving forward. Is this The Last of Us? What did you think of it? It was scary. My voice is gone. It was so intense. It got like progressively worse each time. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Choking her out. At first, it was okay, and then it got like progressively more intense. Yes. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. All right, we're gonna go watch the show now, so maybe decompress a little. They have the Hogwarts dinner plates and mugs, two for $25. And these mugs normally retail for $19 each, so that's a pretty good deal. Also, the plates are $17 a piece, so getting two for $25 is a really nice price point. And then down here, they have some more sale signs, so the coasters are two for $15. Here's what the coasters look like. They're $12 each, so getting two for 15, that's crazy. Then we've got these appetizer plates, two for 20. They normally retail for 15, so normally two for 30, but you can get two for 20, $10 off. Like, look at the whole set, and it's gorgeous. Here, let me back up. How pretty are these? So you can see more of the houses on the coasters. Should I get some? Would you get some? This is a really good deal. They also have a sale on these plushies, so purchase any Charmed plush, so any of these, and you can get 50% off Draco or the Death Eater plush. How cute, I love the Death Eater one. And these retail for $20 a piece. So you buy one for 20, and then you'd get either Death Eater or Draco for 10. Here's all of them. The Mandrake is so cute. Pixie, Luna. Yeah.
officially back home and of course I forgot to film an outro for you guys but just to recap the weekend so that was actually September 1st and some of September 2nd so on September 1st we started with back to Hogwarts day and this was like an unofficial celebration just a lot of fans went out to Universal so we went to the Diagon Alley side and we boarded the train to go across to Hogsmeade at exactly 11 o'clock on September 1st, just like Harry would have when he was going back to Hogwarts. And it was a really cool, magical experience. We were on the train exactly at 11 o'clock. I know like I timestamped it so you could see. And I just think that's so cool that we were able to accomplish that with such a large group as well. And then we just went and got lunch at the Three Broomsticks. We enjoyed some frozen butter beers. And then we went back to our Airbnb and we got ready for Halloween Horror Nights because it was open day that night as well and of course it like torrential downpour on us right when we arrived it was like sunny skies all day even at the Airbnb which was only like a 30 minute drive to the parks so I didn't even bring an umbrella or anything so we ended up buying ponchos there and they were a lifesaver even though our shoes were soaked the entire night but we made the most of it it kind of worked out because then Diagon Alley was super empty because of the rain. We did head there first right when we were able to get in. I honestly already want to go back. It was such a good time, even rain or not. And I am such a scaredy cat. As you saw, I only did one Halloween Horror Nights house. And I still think getting the ticket for that night was worth it. So with seeing the Death Eaters in Diagon Alley doing The Last of Us house. I do wish I did Stranger Things, but the wait times were crazy that night. And we saw the show that they had. So I think it was called Nightmare Fuel or something like that. And that show was amazing. I would recommend it. I think they have like three or four showings throughout the night. If you go try to make one of those showings because it is 100% worth it. It was really, really awesome. And it's an 18 plus show. So just keep in mind. I mean, I feel like Halloween Horror Nights really isn't for kids, even though I do see some younger kids there but I mean use your discretion <laughs> I'm just a scaredy cat myself but it was awesome and then we went through a scare zone I showed you some clips from that and then the next day September 2nd we went to the park like later in the evening we got dinner at the three broomsticks then we just popped into some of the shops we rode Hagrid's I got front row which, which is extra magical but then we just hit up some shops on the way out and I saw some good sales I do wish I bought the plate set I just was so exhausted after like Halloween Horror Nights the first night and then that was like the end of the night on the second and I just couldn't imagine carrying all that to my car <laughs> but I wish I had the energy because I would have bought like an entire set. It was such a good deal so maybe the next time I'm there if they have that deal going on and they're not sold out we'll see. I'll just put that out there and manifest it. But I am going to wrap up today's vlog here. Let me know what your favorite part was down in the comments below. Are you going to be going to Halloween Horror Nights this year? Let me know. Let's discuss it. And as always, if you liked today's video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn your bell notification so you're notified during my next video upload. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye!